Equipment is aging, firefighters are overworked, and if Tampa doesn't start building more fire stations right now, the public could be in danger. That's the conclusion of a comprehensive study presented to city council members in Tampa today. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows you what's being proposed and how much it could cost. Interim Fire Chief Barbara Tripp laid out the troubling stats. Fire trucks and rescue units are being used well beyond their life expectancy. Workers are being pushed too hard. Communications equipment is lacking. And despite enormous growth in areas like New Tampa, Midtown, Channelside, and Water Street, there are no concrete plans to add fire stations or personnel. It's a significant public health crisis. That's $32 million right off the bat. Council members say they're committed to finding that money somewhere, but questioned why more hadn't been done before now. Why developers hadn't been required to include public safety facilities in their plans. We need to be in discussion with some of these developers that are building now. that We might get some of that, be able to intertwine a program with them. Chief Tripp also suggests hiring a consultant who would spend the next three to six months pinpointing priorities. But the firefighters union said they'd already done that work. You don't need a consultant to tell you you need a station in Channel District. You can just open your eyes and look up at that skyline as you're traveling uh, westbound on I-4. Singled out for immediate improvements was Fire Station 13, one of 23 stations in Tampa, but handling one in every seven calls. The statistics there are deplorable. To relieve some of the pressure, Interim Chief Tripp recommends restoring the city's old Fire Station 11, which is located nearby, to full service. Let's get some work done, stop all the consulting, and address the problems that we have. In response to what they heard today, city council members voted unanimously in favor of two motions. The first directing city staff to look into the possibility of charging developers impact fees specifically earmarked for public safety infrastructure. The other mandating this sort of comprehensive public safety report at least once a year, every year.